Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, really anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings, content for the blood god, and now on with the show. Tonight, we have, first up, um, this one is No Man's Land. Uh, this is a, um, this is an alien fan film. Uh, not aliens, alien fan film. So, uh, let's check it out. Uh, let me go ahead and give them a like and a sub. And, uh, this one is, um, this one's only like six months old, so it's, it's fresh. So, let's... Let's check it out. Everybody, look cool smoking. We gotta take some shots. No watches, no cell phones. I'm confused because it's an alien movie, but uh, who knows? Maybe this is set up. I don't know. Maybe we're getting an alien in uh, World War One. I. I don't know. That is odd. No fucking, no f uh, f uh, firing back. Nothing. Just 
So I am forcefully reminded of of of, of it wasn't Mont it wasn't Monty no. Um the guy that plays Mr. Bean. Uh when um they did the show uh where they were in the medieval period and then the um um romance period and then uh and then in the world war one and they ended with the charge um the last charge and everything kind of like had that same feeling when when the when these boys came out and some other other world war one era movies as well this is really nicely done Especially for a fan film. Nobody. Not a damn... Like, what the fuck? There's a... <laughs> Since this is an alien film, what if they, they, like, what they find is a bunch of motherfuckers, like, with bursted out chests and shit. Holy hell. This far back on Earth. I mean, you are right to lead with the shotgun, bro. Those are trench weapons. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's blood. That, 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, the fuck it is not. I don't, so how though, how, like how would you, how would aliens be, or uh, like a, like how would, how, how would a xenomorph, uh, a chest burster, or I'm sorry, not a chest, a face hugger, how would a face hugger come to be on earth in World War One? Bro, bro, you're gonna stop. You're gonna have to stop picking things up real soon. Here, you're gonna lose that hand. Come 
How, though? How does a fucking xenomorph end up on Earth in World War One? Oh, okay, so Yalcha were Yalcha says were um well okay. Okay, so like that's okay, so that Okay, now I'm seeing like something related to what we're watching here. Like it's an article about what we're watching here. Um actual um, alien to see the cream members of the show were found by Ripley. Captured in prison, alien in line. And it was at the humans were to the edge of the face. So thankfully, I was dropping the alien. I'm going to close it. Yeah, uh, okay. So, like, uh, this is okay. This is just a premise. Like, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know. I'm, I'm being a geek. Short answer, yes. Um, the Yauchas were here, so it probably stands. This um, stands that there were clutches um, placed on Earth. It's a Yaucha ship, isn't it? I'd throw a fucking grenade in there and Let's get out of here. Right now. Captain's got uh, uh, good instincts. Or the major or whatever. He's got good instincts. I want two men in a Vickers. Anything comes out of this tunnel? Rain, hell, fire. Wayland and Company, nice. Through sunlight, 
Badlands. We happened upon an old abandoned fort. And we pulled up, made catch. I remember thinking, there's just nothing for miles around. Sanders into the cabs. There's gunfire everywhere. Nothing seemed to stop it. He just kept coming back for us. We had enough. I had enough. So we set to light the bush. Surround. What are you doing? He was alive. A bloody big bastard. Black. From all the smoke. Black as night. He just stood there. Holding his trail. Looking straight at me. Straight into my eyes. In the exposition, trying to tell me something. And what do you think that was? Once in my head, you've marched on to it. Fair enough. <clears throat> You're not welcome. Oh, shit. What Poor ants. Out there. Managed to wipe out an entire battalion. In one single night. Reinforcements will be here in a week. I'm not taking any chances. Oh shit. I imagine they might not have the budget until maybe the very end, so like uh, it's better the um, the fear. Oh, well, fuck! There it is. There's many of them.
So when do the Yalta show up? Because I'm I would imagine they would have gotten a bleep if they were if there was anybody near the planet. This is fucking good. I'm still confused. Uh, not uh, just about the premise, but it's good. The creature effects are good. The fucking like uh, the like uh, like uh, everything is good. This is really good. I mean, they're not invulnerable. Just fucking shoot, like aim, like aim. Are they invincible? I wonder if Wayland uh, and company is going to come in and clean things up at the end. Bravo. There was like nine of them things and like... Um, yep. Snack time. I wonder what their budget was. I mean, it's nice. Like, uh, like... Something's got to work. Yeah. Wayland and company. I like how, like, they're ever-present even though they're not there. Yeah, I was wondering when the acid was going to kind of come into play. I mean, you you figured out that you can, in fact, end them. Those ex exoskeletons are pretty protective, I guess. Oh, 
Come on, get up, son, get up. He's going to find that whole battalion, isn't he? I want to know why the fucking, like, uh, the, the... I want to know why they're, they're there. Why the chestbursters are, um, I'm sorry, the uh, facehuggers were... Oh. Okay, questions answered, at least the ones that matter. This place looks cool as shit, too. <clears throat> He's like, whoa, we ain't got this here. This is, this is different. Get back, get back. Dude, you were just asking to fucking get marked right now. Right here, right now. Okay. Our fucking, our, our penchant for fucking touching every fucking thing there is. might be dead anyway, but, so this looks like a facility, I'm not sure, it might be a buried ship, but,
fuck yeah. You got lucky, boy. Keep running, never ever fucking look back. ladies and gentlemen so that was no man's land um an alien fan film um released earlier th about six months ago by kennedy boy productions um so going over there showing some love support um we can all use it um as for me like subscribe share follow all those things um i um, make it my business to go find gems like this so that i can share them with you uh, be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.